Hi guys, it's Jill and welcome to the YouTube channel. I don't know how to start YouTube anymore because podcasts just messed me up. I'm like the Jet Real Podcast. Yeah, you might want to listen to that before watching this little video because I'm going to be riding my horse and you're going to be like, what the heck? I thought you didn't do that because positive reinforcement. And um, I'm here to tell you I'm doing positive reinforcement from the saddle. I am using negative reinforcement to be fair, but I don't really want to talk about that because I talk about it for over an hour in two different episodes, two hours in total about what I'm doing. So you can just go listen to that if you're interested. If you have questions, go listen to that and then ask your questions instead of asking your questions before you do the research, okay? I'm in a mood, so <laughs> we're gonna roll with it. <coughs> Today, I am going to be riding Zoe, or at least attempting to, and um, it's just at a walk, so don't get your, you know, like, wow, this is gonna be crazy. Expectations, low. <laughs> We've just been working on lots of lateral work and getting her reused to my leg um, because History would indicate that she is under the impression that leg means go forward. Fair, totally understandable misconception. However, that's not what I want. <laughs> so I'm just taking it back to basics and we're only doing walk, however long it takes. So we're just gonna walk around, do lateral work, and I want a big swingy, relaxed walk. And um, I think I'll probably stop doing that whenever, every time we come out, we have a big, relaxed, swingy, easy walk and she's Okay, so that's what we're doing with her, and um, what I'm gonna do first is go get Ruler, which is coincidentally Zoe's half-brother. Um, he's an off-the-track racehorse, homebred. My boss is wanting to get on him today. I'm sure that I will be getting on first, because <laughs> um, I'm younger and bouncier, so. <laughs> but I'm gonna lunch him now, and then we're going to probably lunch him again and then get to own him. And not like super hard, run him into the ground until he's sweating and can't breathe lunging, just like a little energy out lunging because it is windy today and crisp, so not interested in dying, thank you. Then I will also be lunging Miss Mazikeen Maze um, because she needs to come back into work. And we brought her up from the lower field. She went down there just because I wasn't riding and there was no reason for her to be up here taking up a paddock when we had other ponies that needed to be up here. So um, <clears throat> nothing's wrong with her. She didn't sell. Everybody's been asking me all the questions. She's good. She's just had some time off and now she's up. She's currently like dead out in the field, <laughs> like just laying there. I'm gonna do ruler first and then I will wake her up from her beauty sleep. Um, hopefully she'll already be up. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. Listen to the podcast before you ask me questions about, oh my god, but isn't riding negative reinforcement the way I'm doing it? Yes, but also not escalating. So just listen to the podcast. Just while you're mucking stalls on a drive, just listen to it and be like, oh, okay, I'll get it. This makes sense. It might even spark an idea with you and your horse training, okay? So also it helps me be able to eat food. So <laughs> please listen. You can listen to it on literally any podcasting platform such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and or Play. I'm not really sure how Android works. Spotify. And also I have an entire list on my website. Just go to jetequithery.com slash social or click on the Find Us tab and then you'll see all the places that it's available. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking about that and go play with ponies now. Um, let's do this. You look tired. You look tired. Hi, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Also, I just want to quickly say, um, I want to see zero comments that say, Gil, you're a hypocrite, otherwise I will block you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but um, people are allowed to grow and change their opinions, and that's what I'm doing. I'm learning, trying new things, and deciding what I'm doing. So, this is Ruler. He looks like Zoe, only bigger. Baby horses are so great, but...
taller than that one. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you pony clubbers can get after me, but I did not brush her. <laughs> Just imagine how gorgeous she is when she's clean. Use your imagination. It's good exercise. folk I'm inside this was not part of the plan but me and Sunny are gonna go get food when she gets here instead and I have a, a gap so I'm chilling I'm watching love is blind ladies and gents what a good show it's waiting on her to get back and then we will ride ruler and now Penelope who is an old white mare that she rescued from a kill pen who's going to have foster kids on her back on Friday so we want to make sure that she's not lost her mind between now and the last time we rode her so getting more complicated so that's what we're gonna do and yep gonna be the longest day of my life but it's fine <laughs> about to go get lunch and somebody is about to take a roll if she could make up her mind oh there we go <laughs> Okay, so Ruler is no longer a racehorse, he is a jumpy horse. Also, before everybody yells, foot is wrapped, but it's just because he's got kind of a deep, what do you call that, like next to his frog? It's a little, um, little thrushy. Well, they dug out some thrush. And we just don't want any sand to get up in there, so I'm just gonna have it wrapped, and then we're gonna lunge the boy, and then we might get on the boy. <laughs> the bit is only just like a snapple. We are not using any of the other portions <laughs> yes, of the bit. Yes, it was just the only bit. one that I'm gonna ride. <laughs> He's napping. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> Can you, do you want to come please? He says no. I'm sleeping. Oh it's a beautiful chicken. Would you like some carrots? I have some. <laughs> For Amber. This is Zoe's mom for everybody who doesn't know. Hi. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what a good chicken. Okay, so Sunny had to run and go pick up her son from school, so I'm going to quickly tack up my beans and hop on because I also have things to do today. Of course, the one I wanted filmed well the most will not be getting filmed by a person. It will be a still film. <laughs> Gotta love new polos.
you want to know all the pieces where I got my bridle, I have it linked on my website, jeticwithyuri.favorite-products. Little polo wraps. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm pointing at them or not. Oh, she's so dirty. Please don't. most this one <laughs> my camera dies and my phone falls off the fence twice I give up <laughs> so now we're going to do the thing where the whole way back we stop she's done this for as long as I've known her anyway she was really really good I'm happy with her but since I did the rain change these reins are really stiff into leather and then they turn into rubber right where they switch is really stiff because they're a fairly new set of reins and when I'm riding normally I don't notice because my reins are short but on her I notice that when I go to take up the reins she trots I remember that being a thing when I used to flat her that absolutely drove me insane but uh, nobody else has ridden her so I'm the one who trained it <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to switch to a pair of reins where I can shorten without that like stiffness. So I might put the rope reins, barrel reins that I've been using back on, I'm using those so that we can work through that because the whole point of what I'm doing right now is to get her, who needs a drink, to get her to stop thinking that every cue means go faster. Cause right now she's super, super sensitive off my leg, always has been. And I want to be able to put my leg on and just have her move around and relax and be cool with it. And same with rain, have her think up and collect instead of, oh my God, I need to lean into this. And you know, every ride, I'm learning more and more about what we need to work on. And I think that goes for most people. <laughs> most people's rides, you find more and more things that you can improve on. And obviously I'm having to work my way through clicker training and figuring out how I'd like to do that. Oh, yeah. it's so cute, she's so happy. I don't have to worry about her running off because she's like, oh, I wouldn't put my nose in. Having to figure out how I want to implement clicker training Loves it. Hello everyone, tis I. You may see this outfit in the next video because I'm recording this because I remembered that I seem to have forgotten to record the, um, the ending and outro for my last video, but um, there's a cat yelling. Basically, that is the end of the video. I forgot to keep filming, so <laughs> um, I just rode Zazu and did all the things and uh that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching the video and i hope that you enjoyed it if you want to follow us you can find us at jet equi theory on instagram and facebook and twitter and i also have uh, my personal instagram which is jill.treese t-r-e-e-c-e -E, that's the last name you can follow my podcast instagram jet real podcast and you can find the podcast jet real podcast anywhere spotify apple podcasts uh 
Google Podcasts. There are endless places. There's an entire list on my website, jeticwithyuri.com slash social. Now you know all of that information, and this is the end of the video. And now I'm going to go record another video because apparently I'm just on like a video making spree. I don't know what happened to me, but here we are. And we're not gonna question it. We're not gonna argue with it. We're just gonna roll, okay? Sound good? Okay, cool. <laughs>